multiple release orders and blanket orders. So we'll be going over these topics in the presentation today. A card is a term used in Kinetic to refer to the different sections of the sales order instead of tabs, which was used in the classic view. Kinetic still has views like the detail and list view in classic, but you will see there is different access and a different layout for those views. I will show a couple of different types of sales orders using the Kinetic interface, and this presentation will show some of the main areas of order lines, such as the dates, quantity, costs, the checkboxes for locking price and quantity, and then the different areas for releases, where we'll show the dates, the quantity, whether it's firm, unfirm, make direct, or buy to order. At the end, we'll discuss working with different sales orders, such as the standard orders, um, whether they're the lock quantity is locked or not, and the blanket orders, whether the lock quantity field is locked or not. Next few slides will show some of the sales order cards in Kinetic, previously known as tabs. I'll also show you how you see the detail view versus list view of sales orders. And then I'll show the example non-blanket sales orders and blanket sales orders. So these pictures show the header, line, and release in detail views in Kinetic. As you can see, the detail views have the fields shown that were in classic Epicor, but they may be moved around in the card from where they were in tabs in previous Epicor versions. The picture on the left here shows the overall view of sales order with the collapsible and expandable tree area and the collapsible and expandable cards listed here. The previous slide showed the detail view of the header line and release, and here we can see the list view of the lines and the releases by selecting in the tree the lines area and the releases area. If we click line detail or release detail in the tree or by clicking a blue highlighted item, you can use the hyperlink to get to the individual line or the individual release. Then we can see the details for each line or release respectively. <clears throat> so this is just a visual example of the different types of sales orders. A standard sales order is a purchase order for one or more products with usually a single release, but sometimes could have multiple releases per line. But usually shipments are all completed at one time or within a short period of time. A blanket order is a purchase order from a customer asking the supplier to provide shipments of the same parts over a period of time. Most often blanket orders are used when a customer buys a large quantities and has negotiated discounts. It is suggested to finalize blanket POs periodically, possibly at least once a year, to enhance the performance in order entry. As you build up lines and releases, your Epicor could get slower if you keep it open forever. So here we're showing uh, multiple lines and when orders are created with multiple lines, the need buy and ship dates are used to show when each line should be shipped. For a standard order, these dates are usually the same or close in time. And the quantity and price are set per line and the price and quantity can be locked or not locked. Multiple releases, when you have order lines that have multiple releases, most often the need buy and ship by dates will not be the same per release. Quantity is entered, the release can be checked as firm or not firm, and the release can be a make direct or not make direct, and the release can be by the order or not by the order. So working with the releases, we'll show the examples of the four different um, types of orders in my example. They will show, you know, the standard order where the quantity is locked or not locked, and the blanket order where the quantity is locked or not locked. I'll mention the differences that happen in processing the sales order and related shipments based on which example we are reviewing. 
This is the sample of the standard order where the quantity is locked. When you create a standard order with lines that have the quantity locked, enter multiple releases with different dates. As you add more releases, the quantity of release one will be reduced. For example, line one, release one, started as quantity of 350, then reduced to 335 as a new release was added, but the total quantity for the re line remains at 350. And you can see that in the list view of your releases too. You can add up the selling quantity. The line behavior is the same for a standard or a blanket order if either is locked, lock quantity on the line. Usually you will, you will not lock the quantity of a standard order and may not even have multiple releases per line. Notice if you do try to ship the first line, you will get a warning because the um, shipment knows that that first line is a master release once you lock it. You'll get this warning that pops up. You can say yes or no. Um, if you say yes, you want to close the release and then all the releases will be closed um, related to that line. Go back and reopen them manually if you need to. Working with standard order where the quantity is not locked, you'll enter multiple releases with different dates if needed on your standard order. And as you add more releases, the total quantity will increase and deleting releases will reduce the total line quantity. And again, that behavior is the same for a standard or a blanket order if the line is not locked. So here we started with 350 again, but we added um, 15. This time it increases to 365 instead of being reduced to 335. Usually you will not lock the quantity of a standard order and may not even have multiple releases as we mentioned. If you try to ship the first line you will not get a warning since the line was not locked. So here is our first example of a blanket order where the quantity is locked. When creating a blanket order with lines that have that check mark checked, use the final shipment date as the first release. So you can see here release one, you know, is in December and then the other releases are earlier dates. As you add more releases, the quantity of release one will be reduced. For example, line one, release one started out with a quantity of 100 and then it was reduced to 90, 80, 70, 60, all the way down to 20 once we added the other eight releases, etc. Again, that line behavior is the same for a blanket or a standard order if the line is locked. And many blanket orders will have the quantity locked. Again, notice if you try to ship the first line, you will get a warning, again, that you're trying to ship the master line if you ship line one, release one. And the last example here is the blanket order where the quantity is not locked. Again, um, similar to the standard order, as you add more releases, the total line quantity will increase and deleting releases will reduce the total line quantity. And if you do try to ship the first line, you do not get a warning. So again, we started out at 100, but then we added 50, 50, 50, 50, until we got to 500. And the order quantity then gets um, increased on the line. Want more Coda Bears Lunch and Learn? Check out our channel for more videos or contact us on our website for registration information.